Hey, up YouTube. It's all right. Got here this morning. Brent hasn't collapsed on us. Go and have a look. That's all the ground that's come out of it. We've had to brace it. As the other day, it started collapsing. Just had a downpour. Absolutely. It's a death trap. We dug out, boys. Got concrete coming. Seven cube is coming on Wednesday morning. So. pumped in from down that hole there now while we're waiting we're going to shutter this tomorrow ready for wednesday and while we're waiting we've put some boards around the front and we're going to start this mammoth task getting rid of this around the front ready for a grab wagon what we're going to start doing while we're waiting what we're going to start doing while we're waiting we're going to start getting some, a bit of some of this weight. No other way around it, we're going to have to barrier it. Barrier it around the front, chuck it on the front, put some boards down, grab wagon or come, scooch it off. Nice. On your bike. On your bike, son. Nice. But, it will, if you think that you've got more ground that you're going to be pulling out, think about a grab wagon, because for what you're paying nowadays for an eight yard skip, 190, 190 pounds, like that. you can get a grab wagon, 18 tonner, that'll whip you two skips worth out for the same price as one. So bear that in mind. And this is why we couldn't go through the field with a digger, because that's the next door neighbors. I don't think they'd appreciate us trying to get a digger up through that field and through that fence. And there's wild, wild stallions everywhere. And all they do all day is do that. <laughs> so as soon as you get in the field, they'll be, be after you. you know, Stand at the fence looking at you, profing, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's Barra. Man Barra. Scott's Barra. <laughs> Look at my barra. Scott got if you can imagine a, a giraffe that's just been born that's trying to walk for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. what he's like with that barra. His legs are buckling under Look the pressure. More meat on a pepper army. <laughs> but not as hot as a pepper army. Right. Here we have a pig in his natural <laughs> playing in the mud doing what he likes to do best on a day-to-day -day basis this <laughs> you can't dig it with a shovel because it's that sticky you just don't get anywhere so you quicker do this just pick it up it's horrendous that isn't it We had to dig it out by hand and then pull it all out. Now we've got to absolutely physically put it in the barrier with hands. But you're having a good time, aren't you? Oh, couldn't have this is what I was born to do. <laughs> don't get don't get much better, does it? Hey up. How's it going? By the time you see this video, it will be Wednesday, probably. Wednesday night. Right. We haven't done much footage this week, have we? Been rained off most of the time. It's been a bit of a nightmare. But concrete pumps here. But the concrete uh, 
isn't. So yeah, we've got to wait about an hour. But that's our problem. But we've also got a digger. <laughs> <laughs> because the plan has changed slightly to bring all this here, bring it lower to where that makeshift shed base is there. It's probably going to come to as low as that, all this. Get a couple of muck away wagons. Take some, uh, take some weight off this ground. Build some steps in through here. The steel mesh, two layers all the way through there. That will go nowhere. That's going to come down, be rebuilt. <laughs> but what do you do? Hey. What do you do, eh? What do you do? What do you do? It's the weather. Weather's not good. Weather's not good at all. So it's going rain now. One o'clock. If it rains at one o'clock, the concrete wagon's going to be here. It's just going to be a mess. Can't really see because of the sun now in it. But it's very deep. Steel across the bottom. Steel three quarters the way up. Nightmare. But and all this has got to go. On a plus note. There is no plus note. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 